Hey, good morning. I have here an additional example for one-way ANOVA. So for our given problem, determine if there is a significant difference among the test scores obtained by the group of four students from five different sections. We are going to test this at alpha is equal to 0 0.05. So this is our data. We have there our uh, five sections, okay, and four students per section okay so for our problem statement is there a significant difference among the test scores obtained by the four group of students or group of four students from five different sections for our hypothesis for our null there is no significant difference among the test scores obtained by the group of students from five different sections it can also be expressed as mu of a is equal to mu of b is equal to mu of c is equal to mu of d is equal to mu of e then for our ha or alternate hypothesis there is a significant difference among the test scores obtained by the group of students from five different sections or it can also be expressed at mu of a is not equal to mu of b is not equal to mu of c is not equal to mu of d is not equal to mu of e okay then for the level of significance, we are going to test this at, again, alpha is equal to 0 0.05, okay? So for the degrees of freedom bet between, that is k minus 1, again, k, this is the number of groups or the number of sections, okay? Then, that is 5, we have 5 sections, minus 1, we have there 4. Then for the degrees of freedom within, we have there n, the total number of values minus the number of groups we have 20 minus 5 we have there 15 okay and then for the degrees of freedom total we have there n minus 1 we have 20 minus 1 we have 19 okay then of course for f at 0 0.05 we have here 3.05 this is from where from our, this is our tabular value, from the F distribution table. Again, for the degrees of freedom, 4 and 15. Okay? Then, for our statistic, test statistic, we'll be using one-way ANOVA. Okay? So, for the computation, what do we need? The sums. We have the summation, uh, the sum, the summation of a, summation of a squared, sum, uh, a bar or the mean for a, and a, summation of b, summation of b squared, b bar and b, summation of c, summation of c squared, c bar and c, summation of d, summation of d squared, d bar and d, summation of e, summation of e squared, e bar and e. Okay. Then, from this, first, we compute for the summation of x total. That is the summation of A, summation of B, summation of C, summation of D, summation of E. Okay? For that, we have 1,727. Then for the summation of x squared or summation of x total squared, okay, that is the sum of summation of a squared plus summation of b squared plus summation of c squared plus summation of d squared plus summation of e squared, okay, and that gives us 15,000, uh, 150,069, okay, then we can now compute for our sum of squares total, which is equal to the summation of x total squared minus summation of x total squared over n. And that is 150,069 minus 1,727 squared over 20. And our SS total is 942.55. Okay? Then, for the SS between, or sum of squares between, we have there the summation of a, square it, over NA plus summation of B square it over NB 
plus summation of C, square it over NC, plus summation of D, square it over ND, plus summation of E, square it over NB, minus summation of X total, square it over N. Okay? So, we have there, SS between is 28.3. Okay? The next is to get the sum of squares for group A, B, C, D, and E. Okay? So, you have it there. We have the summation of A, sum, sum of squares of A, for the sum of squares of B, for the sum of squares of C, for the sum of squares of D, and then for the sum of squares of E. Then for the sum of squares within, you need to add the sum of squares of A, B, C, D, and E. It gives us 914.25. Okay. The next is the ANOVA table. Okay, For the ANOVA table, we have there the sources of variation for the first column. Second column is the sum of squares. Third column is for the degrees of freedom. The fourth column is for the mean squares. Then the fifth is F ratio. Then next is F at 0 0.05 where the tabular value. Then for our, the last column is for our decision. Okay, so for the between, we have there 28.3 for the sum of squares. Then for the within, we have 914.25. And for the total, that is 942.55. For the degrees of freedom between, we have 4. Within, we have 15. And for the total, we have 19. For the mean squares, we have there. Okay, how do we get this? This is from... The sum of squares divided by the degrees of freedom. We have 28.3 divided by 4. It gives us 7.075. And then for the within, we have there 914.25 divided by 15. We have 60.95. And then for the F ratio, that is this one. Mean squares between divided by the mean squares within. That is 7.075 divided by 60.95. Our F ratio is 0 0.116. Again, for our F at 0 0.05, that is 3.05. For our decision rule, okay, if the F ratio is greater than F uh, critical value or tabular value, then we reject the null hypothesis. So, in this problem, since the F ratio of 0 0.116, 116 is less than F at 0 0.05 that is equal to 3.05 with 4 and 15 degrees of freedom. We fail to reject the null hypothesis. There is no significant difference among the test scores obtained by the, four, the group of four students from five different sections.